Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Here we are again. It comes quick. It comes quick. Just as quick as Monday does, right? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Hopefully, I'm in the right place. Hope you guys have had a good week. We are inching closer and closer to fall, which makes me very happy. All right. It does look like I am in the right place. All right. I see some of you jumping on. All right. Now, how come I can hear my voice? I turned that all the way down. Ugh, there's nothing worse than hearing your own voice, right? Okay, so today, it's a science. I love, love, love the stamp set. It's open line images. You can color it with your blends. It has funny sayings, and it's cute. Um, one, when I was um, designing my million dollar stamp set, that, those were the requirements. Um, but one of the ideas I had was like a school themed uh, stamp set as well. And this kind of fits into that schoolish type category, if you will. It's not specifically school, but um, it's cute. And my middle daughter is a self proclaimed science nerd. She loves science. She's very, very smart. Um, she takes after my father in law, who is a real life scientist. Um, and she wants to major in something like astrobiology something that my brain can't even understand. So this is going to be perfect for all of her cards and stuff that we make in the next few years. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys around. There's some things I wanna show you. Um, specifically, I wanna talk to you about uh, paper and ribbon shares. I just posted them this morning. I actually sent an email out. Let's see if I don't mess this up. I actually sent an email out with a link either yesterday or the day before, and then I forgot to hit publish on my blog. <laughs> so if you are looking for it, it's up now. Um, but first, let me talk to you about this class right here. This is the Barbie inspired mega class I'm doing with Rhonda Wade and Ange McKay. Um, this is the last time I'm gonna talk to you about it because the deadline to register for it is next week, it closes. Um, next week, I will be not here. Let's see if I can turn this just a bit. I will not be here next week. I'm going to lovely Las Vegas for a Stampin' Up! event. Um, so when I come back the following week, what is that, the last week of August, is when I will get these out in the mail. Um, so if you are interested, it uses um, the Everyday Thanks stamp set and the Wonderful Thoughts bundle. It is six cards six super duper cute cards and two 3D items. I only have one of them here. You're gonna get a boatload of product in your kit. Uh, four bolts of ribbon, two packs of embellishments, several things of paper, um, and a giant PDF that has three bonus projects in it. So if you're interested in this kit, deadline, like I said, is the 24th. My goal is to have them in the mail on the 31st. That's $69 and that includes your shipping. You can add on the stamp sets if you need them, otherwise they're not included. And the PDF is now available in my PDF store for 20 bucks. Let's see. Oh, geez. Yeah, not the place to ask. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, okay, um, let me talk to you about paper shares. So every time a catalog comes out, we do a paper and a ribbon share. And um, it's a great way to get a little bit of all the new stuff. So a little bit of, of every new paper, designer series paper and specialty paper, and then one yard of all the ribbons. So um, I'm of course doing that again. And I thought I would just quickly show you guys the papers because we can't share, um, we can't share images just yet. Once the catalog goes live, then we can share images, but we can't do it until the PDF goes live, which is September 6th. But I can show you, um, we've got all kinds of cute paper. Um, this one is more springish, if you will. So it's not all holiday stuff. I love that paper. And then this one is fall paper. This is a really interesting pack of paper. We've got metallics on one side. And then on the other side, we've got fall scenes. Um, I actually made a set of swaps with these last week. I'll show you my favorite piece here in just a second. Look at that. 
I love it. That looks just like that pumpkin I or that uh, puzzle I did last fall. That was so hard. Um, so you'll get one sheet of each of the six by six. Then, depending on what size you choose, either six by six or six by twelve, you will get um, a sheet of each of the patterns in the twelve by twelve pack. So you'll either get a quarter or a half depending on which you choose. Um, and that way you're gonna end up with a, sh a piece of every new sheet of paper that there is. It's a good way to just kind of get a sampling of all of them. Um, you know, I don't think very many of us can just buy all of the paper and all of the ribbon. Um, so this is a good way to get all of it. And then if, you, if you're like me and you're like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this paper right here. I love this paper. I want a whole pack of it. You've got it in your hand so you can see it and you'll know. Or if you're like, eh, I don't really like this paper, I'm not gonna order that pack. Because papers look very different in person. Very different. This is the Halloween paper, um, which I <laughs> shared a photo last week with you guys of how this paper gives me butterflies because it makes me so excited for the fall. Um, I love Halloween, but not specifically because of Halloween. I love Halloween because it's October and it's cool and there's pumpkins and the leaves are changing. So that's why I love that paper. Really good. Um, this paper is really gorgeous. This paper is called Oh Holy Night and it's a nativity set, but also not necessarily like, um, my friend Anne Marie and I were talking about how you could use this paper for other things, um, other scenes. So it's really pretty. Look at that. I um, hope we get to see a video. This looks like hand painted paper, and usually they will create a video for us showing us how they made it. So that's that paper. Um, I'm just going to, I don't want to take up the whole Facebook Friday showing you guys paper, but I do want to give you just kind of an idea. Um, these are some metallics. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so um, Paper Share is two different prices, and I had a post-it note. I don't know where it goes. $41, I believe, for the, the 6 by 6 That includes shipping. I use flat rate shipping because their um, paper is heavy. And then, where did my post-it note go? Is it down there? And then what was the other price? Who has looked at my blog? I literally just wrote it down about 10 minutes ago and I already can't remember. Um, this is pretty too. Ooh, I love music notes. Oh, I love the plaid. I haven't even looked at these. Look at that. Whoa, this paper's gorgeous. This is, oh my gosh. I didn't realize there were plaids. I think this is gonna be my favorite paper. Um, this paper is gonna be our fundraising paper every year. Every catalog has something, um, one product where they donate all the proceeds. Um, and this is that product this time. Super cute, it coordinates with a bear punch. And then we've got some metallic snowflakes. Then we've got these cute little guys, the polar bears. I love this set too. I mean, come on, so many good things in here. And then um, some metallic, look, uh, Melon Mambo foil, hello, foil. We've never had Melon Mambo foil. Here's my post-it note. All right, so the six by six is $41, the 12 by six is $62, and the ribbon is $17. I think I'm missing one of the ribbons, but they're very pretty. Look, we've got a fat vanilla and black gingham. We've got, I love this trim. We've had this before in um, just a natural color and in green, and now it's in Calypso Coral. We've got a navy, we've got a white with a silver edge we've got a natural and then a copper and then this one looks like balmy blue am i missing one one two three four five six seven aren't there eight i'm missing one but anyways that uh, ribbon share you'll get a yard of each and the ribbon comes in these cute little organization boxes that's included in your price now um if you get the ribbon and the paper you don't pay that additional shipping on the ribbon. It's included in that price, of course. Um, what am I missing? The shimmer with the polar bear suite. The shimmer, what color is it? I can't remember, Carla, did I not order it? No, I did, I ordered that whole suite. It must just be, it's probably rolling around somewhere in here, who knows, right, who knows? All right, so the deadline for that is September 5th because the catalog goes live September 6th. I'll put that order in on the 6th. It will get here as soon as 
humanly possible. <laughs> and then I will start working on it. Uh, my lovely assistant, Denise, helps me with the ribbon and we will have those in the mail to you. Um, our goal will be the end of September. Hopefully we can get all that done within about three weeks. Um, the other thing I was gonna tell you is Merry and Bright is our next Club Create subscription um, kit. This is for September. The deadline to subscribe, if you want this kit, is September 7th. Um, if you're already a subscriber, you don't need to do anything. Um, you're already subscribed. This is a really, really fun, I pointed this paper out to you in um, over there a minute ago. It's my favorite paper in the whole catalog. Um, and we're using the Merry and Bright um, bundle. And the PDF and video, if you just want that option, it's available in my PDF store. The, the kit includes $20 roughly in product, five projects, um, a video and a PDF and shipping. And um, if you stay, if you subscribe six months in a row, you get a $25 product credit. All right, so there's that. What else? Bonus bucks, oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? I haven't redeemed my bonus bucks. I need to remember to do that because I have quite a few. Um, you have until the end of August to redeem your bonus bucks. What are you going to get? So many good things, guys. So many good things, including our kits, which are on sale, 30% off. Let's see. Do we have any tax-free left? I think the only people left is New Jersey, right? August 26th. What's today? Yeah, everybody else. Check, check, check. We've already done it. Okay, so that is that. Let's see. Um... All-Star Tutorial Bundle, I haven't sent this out in over a week. If you've put in an order, I owe you a PDF. You earn this for free if you spend 50 bucks. It's also available in my PDF store, and it includes 12 video tutorials, all featuring the bright and beautiful suite of products. I'm gonna leave that out too, so I remember to send that. And what else? I think that's it. Gosh, I felt like I had a lot. I guess that paper share, I felt like that was a lot. Okay, how about a prize from last week? Deb Schwellmine. Deb, I probably butchered it, but you know who you are. Thank you for sharing my video. If you'll send me your mailing address, I would love to send you this bundle as a thank you gift. And this week's prize is gonna be the So Refreshing Bundle. Love, love, love this bundle. Um, all you have to do is share the video, either on Facebook or YouTube, and I will pick a winner next week. Nope, not next week, the week after which will be September 1st. Oh, I love September and I hate August. I get so excited for September. Um, so share the video. Let me know in the comments that you shared. Thanks, Ramona. See, she wrote shared, so now I know she shared. And um, I'll pick somebody at random, okay? Okay, that's it. Woo, I flew through that. So today, Facebook Friday, um, every week on Friday, well, not every week, 99% of the time when I'm not out of town or sick, um, we do Facebook Friday and I choose one product and we do three projects. So today it's it's a science from our annual catalog. And um, if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, you will see um, the free PDF under the last photo. There's a box you can click. It has all the measurements. Um, the, these two specifically have quite a few measurements. So you're gonna wanna get the PDF today. It has a supply list and it has the things that I talked about with the links that you need. And then it has a host code. So the host code is if you want today's make and takes for free, I will send them to you as a thank you, like a little kit like this, as a thank you for your order. Any orders between now and Monday at midnight that are over $35 and that use our host code, we'll get those sent to you for free next week. All right. Um, you will need the stamps. I don't include any stamping. I always have to mention that because somebody always thinks I'm going to send them stamped images. That's uh, against Stampin' Up! policy. So we don't do that. You'll need the stamps, but everything else I will send you. And I'll make you a cute little tag, a little thank you tag. Okay, that's it. That's it. I think we're ready to stamp, right? All right. So I did a little bit of stuff ahead of time because there's a lot of fussy cutting today for all of you who... Do not like fussy cutting. I apologize in advance. You know that I love fussy cutting. I don't mind it. So we're going to do some fussy cutting. Um, the first project is a really easy fun fold. Um, 
that is a gift card holder, okay? This is a this this is a design we've done many times, but I wanna show you what I did to the little beakers and the test tube. Can you see how they're shiny? I'm gonna show you how I did that. Can make them look kind of realistic. Now, two sneak peeks on here. This paper right here is the Marion Bright paper. That I think it's called something else. What did I write down? Did I put it on the list? No, I wrote Marion Bright. Marion Bright designer series paper. And it's not available until September 6th, okay? And same with these flat discs. Um, these are really cool little embellishments. Um, they're adhesive-backed discs, and uh, they go with this paper. They coordinate with this paper. So um, those two things are not available until the 6th of September. Now, you guys, um, the catalogs, many of you, I ordered catalogs for you to be shipped to you directly from Stampin' Up! And I thought some of you had told me you had received yours, but maybe I'm wrong because then I've heard from several people who haven't received theirs yet. Have you guys received your new holiday catalog in the mail yet? Let me know. Um, they're coming. Believe me, if you put in an order with me anytime in the last 12 months, I ordered you a catalog and it's coming from Stampin' Up! and it comes uh, media mail, so it's slow. Okay, Ashley. You got your catalog yesterday. Okay, Patricia, you got yours. So they're probably gonna slowly start trickling in. Um, you know, Ashley could get hers today and I could get mine in a week. That's how media mail is. So just be patient, okay? All right, let's start coloring these guys. I'm using my Stampin' Blends. Um, I am using colors that, it, that are in that Marian Bright Designer Series paper. Um, so, if you're wondering, that's how I chose my colors. So first we've got Poppy Parade, and I'm gonna do light Poppy Parade. Let's see if I can zoom in without messing things up. Okay, there we go. Um, I did light Poppy Parade, and then I'm gonna take the dark and just kind of do dark. So we have like two layers of liquid. You know, it looks like maybe there's some kind of solution in there that's separated. I saw um, one of our, our who was it? One of our artist design team members, or maybe it was one of the girls on Stamp Through the Catalog. They did that on theirs, and I thought it was really clever. All right, so just kind of had that variation in color. All right, so next, let's use Balmy Blue on the test tube. I have um, recorded these individually, so um, if you need me to zoom in even more, you can go to those YouTube recordings. I always make sure to zoom in close because I know sometimes people want to see exactly how I color these things. All right, then we'll do Daffodil Delight. Now, the yellow <laughs> in this paper is actually crushed curry. But I don't, I didn't want to use crushed curry because I think that it should be Daffodil Delight. So we're, we're using Daffodil Delight. It's in the Brights family. It's bright and cherry. And I don't know why they didn't use Daffodil Delight in this paper. And then Delight, Delight goes fine. It's fine, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and then the last one is Light Parakeet Party. All right, and we're gonna color, 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 color with our light. Um, some of you probably already know exactly what I'm gonna use to make these look realistic. I haven't, I haven't done that technique in a while. Brenda, you received yours on Monday. Um, you can order from it beginning September 6th. You know, this marker isn't very dark and it says dark, but the other end is dark. See that? I don't know why. It's weird. Okay, so now once you have them colored in, you need to get your fine tip glue pen, which I don't use very much anymore because I prefer the Tombow. But this dries clear and it's gonna make these look realistic. Now see how it has that fine tip on it? I like to start out by, let's make sure it's running. Okay, I like to make to start by creating kind of a dam around the edge of the image like that and then just filling it in. And you can kind of you can squeeze and then spread and then squeeze and then spread. You gotta, you gotta find like a balance because if you squeeze too much, then it's gonna, you know, be a mess. 
but I like to just kind of squeeze and spread and then kind of just squeeze as I go. Now, sometimes it makes bubbles, so you're gonna want to go in and pop those bubbles with a tip. Also, it will pick up the color of the marker sometimes, so before you switch to another color, kind of like we do with our blender pens, you wanna go and run it over on, some, on the side of the paper to get off that color so you don't get any bleed. Okay, now here's the hardest, hardest, hardest part of this. Well, the, the second hardest part is having your eyes be able to focus enough to get this back in. <laughs> that is the hardest part. But the other hard part is putting it somewhere that you're not gonna set something down on it. I cannot tell you how many times I've done this. I've set it over there and then boom, the next thing I know I have set something on it. So really, like literally set it far away to dry. Um, it, it will take a while to dry. I mean, maybe like an hour, depending on how thick you put that stuff on. So go and do something else. So once it's dry, use your paper snips to cut it out. So see how I've done that. Now, really weirdly, the other day, when I did this one, look, see how that turned orange? And I used Poppy Parade on there, but this one didn't do it. I don't know why that turned orange. Maybe because I had it sitting up over here on the windowsill in the sun or something. Isn't that weird? It's very weird. Okay, so cut them out with your paper snips. Now, we've got all these other pieces here, and I need to get my red paper. Hold on just a second. I have a card base that is 10 and 3 fourths by four and a fourth. Basically what I did is I cut off a quarter inch over here and I scored it at two and a half and then five and a half so that when I fold it and I fold this in, it's too short. Right, so I cut that quarter inch off. That way, you don't. It, it's easier to get your gift card out of there when you cut it short like that. And <laughs> Robin, you're right, it's a science project. Um, now, I'm taking my, um, this is my two and three eighths inch circle punch and just cutting like a little smiley face out of that, okay? And then we will take our tear and tape and we're gonna fold that over to create that little pocket. All right. There we go. And there we go. And then you just fold that in, and there's your the gift card holder part. Now on the inside, we're gonna stamp these little, okay, where are my science people at? What would you call that? cells are they cells i'm going to stamp them in daffodil delight and then stamp off each time so i get a little bit of a lighter so dark and light all right and you want to turn your stamp every which way so that they're kind of random now this set i say it's a science set but it doesn't necessarily have to be for someone who is sciencey it's fun and cute and silly so just keep that in mind. All right, now I have a piece of basic white and we're going to just put that DNA. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's DNA. I think DNA is more um, long, isn't it? They look like little cells or, or like a helix or I don't know. You know, I started out as a science major in college and after the first semester, I could not keep up. It was very hard. It was very, very hard. Um, even though I had even taken biology AP in high school, I still was like, this is not for me. Now I cut my paper too short, but we're going to pretend like it fits. Urgh, don't you hate when you do that? All right. So now we've got that set. I've got a blueberry bushel, um, contour scallop rectangle. And then I've got this, this is from the 
something eclectic designer series paper. Of course you need like a notebook paper, or grid paper there to, to be in the background. And then I've got just this little quarter inch strip of basic black to be our little shelf. And then we'll flip over our little guys, which I did ahead of time because we, there's no way we have enough time for those guys to dry. And we'll put a dimensional on the back of all of them. Delightfully eclectic DSP, what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> did I call it something weird? All right, so I'm gonna put this one and I'm gonna put this one overlapping. Actually, you need to start over a little bit, like that, kind of more in the middle, because that test tube is skinny and it makes everything kind of off. There we go, and then we've got this one. I wanted to use, I like the rest of this set, but I wanted to use these little beakers and test tube things on every project, because they're so cute. I have a cute project for you on Monday that is a Halloween project. I'll show you at the end. And then you can see it on my, my uh, blog on Monday. Okay, so we've got them all set. We've got a stitched banner and we're gonna stamp our sentiment, which looks to be on the other tray. It says, it's your birthday. You can overreact. Um, typically guys, you wanna stamp first and then die cut, cause this is tricky. And yeah. It's a little crooked, but eh, eh, we'll go with it. It's better to stamp first, die cut second. All right, we'll put that right there. All right, and now we'll put this on here with dimensionals. We'll pretend that our designer series paper is the right size. And then we'll put that, I'm gonna kind of center it so that that white piece is behind there like that. All right, last but not least, we'll bring over our little discs. And we will just put them all over. I thought they kind of looked like bubbling, you know, like bubbles. There actually is a little bubble stamp in the set, which would be cute too. And we'll put one right there. And there you go, a birthday card. This would be good for a guy too. You know, it's not too girly. It's sciency, and it's super cute. Let's see, where's that gift card? That gift card should fit like a glove. Look at that, like a glove. Okay, done. First project, pretty easy. Let's see, I'm gonna put this over here and this over here. I'm gonna move this over here. Now, the next project, you guys. Um, <laughs> hi, Jessica, thank you. The next project, of course, is going to feature a test tube. I have done many, many test tube projects in the past, Boozy Hot Chocolate specifically. It's been my favorite, but this one, I was like, okay, I just got on Amazon, boop, 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 ordered me some test tubes. So I have them linked today, the exact ones. They come in a pack of 24. I can't remember how much they were, but they weren't very expensive. Now, inside of them are these things that I have only seen like at craft fairs. I don't know, people are selling them. They're dehydrated Skittles. You guys see these? They're calling them Cosmic Crunchies, but they're dehydrated Skittles. And I'm not a Skittles person. I will. Skittles don't tempt me. I will pass over a Skittle any day, but these things I love. And I don't know why. I think it's that crunch, um, but they're cute and they would make great little party favors in these, in these test tubes. Now these test tubes would fit other things like gumballs or M&Ms or whatever you wanted to use. But um, I thought that they, um, <laughs> I thought that they were cute. Car Carla says, I hope you're doing a fall boozy treat. Carla, for sure. I will definitely do a fall boozy treat. When I moved <laughs> my studio and I was really like organizing things, I had a lot of little bottles of booze, <laughs> a lot of them. And I was like, okay, why do I have all these? This is kind of strange. So I need to use them. You know, whenever I see them and they're super cute, I have to buy them. I'm like, oh, a project, a project. Okay, now 
Let's get the measurements on this one. As long as I type them correctly on here, they are right. Um, you're gonna need, um, this is Parakeet Party, right? Parakeet Party, yes. Um, or is it Lemon Lime Twist? Now, now I'm questioning myself. Hmm, you know, I don't know. I think either one would work. Um, <laughs> I don't know, they look very similar. Eight and a half by six and a half, all right? And on the long side, we're gonna score it at two and a half, four, six and a half, and eight. Now remember those measurements are right here on that PDF. Um, turn it to the short side and score it at two and a half and four. Now we're gonna add some additional score lines here that um, really are cut, they're gonna be cut lines showing us where to cut, okay? So on the short side, you're gonna, well, let me, let me point this out. We have a skinny tab here, and then we have a medium section and a large section, medium section, large section. With that large section at the top, a half inch from either of these lines, we're gonna draw a score line that stops at that first horizontal line. So this is at four, so I'm gonna come to four and a half, and I'm gonna stop. And then I'm gonna come over here, this is two and a half, so I'm gonna back up to two and stop. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna go all the way down to here. We're leaving just this one section right here without score lines. So four and a half, stop, and two, and stop. All right, so now, let's, before we burnish, we're gonna cut away things and then I'll show you what it looks like. This is how the paper was at the beginning where we had the larger sections at the top. We're going to cut off, if I can get my scissors clean, we're gonna cut the score line all the way in, but then we're only gonna cut off this square so that that score line that you, that you cut created this, this flap right here, okay? So we'll do the same thing on the other side Come in from the long side, cut all the way in, and then cut up that outside score line, okay? All right, now, over on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing all the way down. So, take your scissors and cut all the way down that score line, and then cut this off, and when you do, go all the way in. And we're gonna snip this one as well. And then this one right here, we're gonna cut off. All right, I promise this seems really complicated, but once you do it, it you, you, know, you do it one time and you'll be like, okay, I got this. And honestly, what I did, and you might wanna do this too, is just I made a template for myself so that I can look over and see exactly, so I can remember exactly where to cut. All right, we're gonna do the same thing over here. Cut this off, go all the way in, and then snip, and then snip, and snip. All right, so now, let me uh, fold these up so you can kind of get an idea. This is what your piece looks like. All that cutting, and this is what you have. And this is gonna be the bottom part of the box. This is just this part. We're just gonna glue this piece onto the back. All right, now, um, you want to burnish these lines really well. So get your bone folder. And we could have done it before we cut, except for those score lines that stopped. That makes it a little tricky. So I waited to do it afterwards. Burnish, burnish. Okay, so now, I actually have it upside down. I folded everything the wrong way. It's fine, it still works. We're gonna put adhesive on the outside of these. All right, so it's gonna fold up like this. So we'll go ahead and turn that back over. This is the top side. We're gonna put our tear and tape on the top side. And I'm using tear and tape here 
instead of liquid glue because liquid glue would be a little bit tricky. I think it would be kind of messy. I think tear and tape is probably the best adhesive for this. Okay, one here and one here. All right, so now we'll take our our take your pick tool and peel these off, especially when your nails are too long to function. I'm still working on these long nails. They've lasted a really long time. I don't wanna go get them done yet. All right, I'll do this one. Wow, is that all connected? Okay, we need to snip that right there. And we'll fold, if, you're, if yours are ever too long like mine are, just fold them down. Okay, fold that over. One thing I didn't do was cut the corners off and this one right here specifically needs to have the corners cut off. Okay, here we go, you ready? So that was the top side. We're gonna take these two and fold them up into the sides. And you wanna look at it so that you've got it all matching. Got those edge edges matched. All right, and then these guys are gonna fold in like that. Oh, I almost forgot, I almost forgot to put the circle hole in there. Don't do that, don't do what I did. Do this before you put your adhesive on, it's gonna be a lot easier. I've got a one inch circle punch here. You can use, we don't carry a one inch circle punch anymore. So if you need one, you can find one, I'm sure on Amazon or whatever, Walmart, or look at your dies and see what you have. So I punched out a circle out of just scrap paper so I can make sure that I've got it centered. And then I will stick this on here. Oh, come on, there we go. It's gonna be stuck to the punch now. Oh, good, there. All right, so now we've got that hole. Now we can close it up. Fold in all the way and see how these corners are kind of catching? If you run into that, just snip those corners off. I don't know why some do it and some don't. It probably has something to do with my sloppiness. All right, and then you just fold those in and then take your finger on the inside and push all of it in. Okay, and so there is your box. Now, we're gonna take this long and skinny piece right here, and it's gonna be the back, like that. Um, you're gonna need three pieces of designer series paper. I can get them picked up. I've got three pieces. There, it's from the Stargazing DSP, and we'll put one on the front, and then two on the sides. Now, if you cut your 12 by 12 paper into a, you need a one and th three eighths, right, isn't that what I said? One and three eighths strip, right? One and three eighths by 12. And then you cut these three pieces, one and three eighths by two and three eighths. What you're left with is this piece right here. And it doesn't fit on here, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna glue that on here. <gasps> See how that works? So don't worry about it being perfect. Just use what you got left. Stick that on here like this, okay? And then I'm gonna take some liquid glue because I really want this to stick down. Ooh, I might've gotten a little heavy handed with the glue. Shocker, I know, shocker. All right, and then we will take this guy and set it right on there. Make sure it's straight, okay? And there is our holder. Now we're gonna set that aside to dry for right now, okay? Okay, the hard part is done. Let's do our stamping. We're gonna again, Thanks, Patty. Hi, Nathan. It's not up on my website, the tutorial. Oh, what, what do you mean, the PDF? It's not up? 
Yeah, I think you're right, Carla. I think it is lemon lime twist. I was very confident that it was parakeet party when I wasn't really thinking about it, but now that I'm thinking about it, where I pulled it out of my cardstock in my shelf, I'm pretty sure it's lemon lime twist, and I'm just calling it parakeet party. Pretty sure. Okay, um, so Robin says a PDF. Oh, the post is not up. What? Okay, hold on. Let me grab my computer. Where is my computer sitting? I can, I can remedy that. Let's see. What did I schedule it for? I probably scheduled it for tomorrow. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, you know what I didn't do is hit publish. <laughs> That's a problem when you don't hit publish. It can't read your mind. Let me see if it's up now. Okay. Now it's up. Thank you, Robin, for telling me. Okay, so now we're only gonna use these two right here out of the four. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna color them this time though with Highland Heather and Melon Mambo. All right, I'm gonna do them the same manner I did with the two colors. And then we'll get Melon Mambo. I like this fat beaker the best. I think it's my favorite. Color all of that in. Okay. Take your dark and we'll just color in about seven eighths of it with the dark. Okay, now one thing that I didn't do on the last ones was add some Wink of Stella. So if you don't wanna get messy with your glue, just add some Wink of Stella. And see how that Wink of Stella picks up that color? So make sure you run your brush off on your paper so it doesn't carry that color to the next, to the next item. Um, okay, now for the clipboard. From cake. I can see lots of uses for this little clipboard image. Lots of uses. Thinking a coach, a card for a coach. With this and the whistle from Everyday Thanks. That would be cute. And then we'll do smoky slates for the metal part up here. All right. So now you've got those two pieces and Oh, come on, I cut them out already. Where did I put them? I just did it. It's probably here somewhere. Hold on, where did it go? Did I put it on the wrong tray? Hmm. Don't you love when you do work ahead of time? To me? Oh, here we go. When you do work ahead of time and then you're like, I can't find it or I did it wrong and you wasted more time than you were trying to save time. Here we go. I've already cut them out. Okay, so I've also got a white label and a black circle. The black circle is from the Radiating Stitches dies and this label is from, I can never remember it, Sentimental Park dies. We're going to emboss. Where is my embossing stuff? We're going to emboss this. with basic white. I'm using my embossing buddy to remove any static cling. And then I'm gonna take my Versamark ink, which has seen better days, and stamp You Matter on there. Now you can't see it because it's clear. Okay. And sprinkle that on like that. And if you have any stray guys, you can just use your paintbrush. I always wanna call it a toothbrush. You can use your paintbrush, don't use your toothbrush, to brush it off. And the reversible tweezers are good for this because it's gonna get real hot and I have to hold it really close. So hit it with your heat tool. There we go. Whoops, a little bit more right there. 
You'll know it's ready when everything is bright white and a little bit shiny. All right, we're gonna use that on the next project. Let's layer these up with some dimensionals. Come on, where are you? Here we go. And I'm gonna take my clipboard and put that right there. And then we'll put You Matter kind of overlapping like that. And we'll take our larger beaker and put that right there. And then we will get our many dimensionals for our small beaker. And, ay, ay, ay. Put that over here and put that right there. Um, the last thing I was gonna do, and I think I put that too far over, but we'll still do it, is take some of these little matte, little matte guys, and we'll put them on either end. That one's kind of, <laughs> that one's very covered up. Squish it in a little bit so you can see them. All right, let's bring this back. Now, I'm gonna show you a trick for your test tubes. Um, this one edge circle fits pretty well, but it's pretty, it's loose too, right? And, and it will fall out. So take a dimensional and put on the bottom and stick it down in there. And that way you can get it to be perfectly straight and it won't fall out. And, but then the person who wants to eat it, it'll just pop, pop right out. No problem. All right. And we will put our dimensionals right here. Now, last but not least, our test tube needs a bow. So we will use this ribbon right here. This is from the Ribbon Duo Pack. It comes with petal pink ribbon. I like this really thin ribbon. And snip. Oh, now my scissors are gunked up because of me cutting things with adhesive. Um, many glue dots. And my take your pick tool, I actually put it back where it goes. And I'm just gonna put that right up here. And voila, we are done. So once you get those boxes made, it's pretty easy. And the box, the first one, you're gonna need to like focus and you know, think about what you're doing. But after you do one, the rest of them are gonna be easy if you wanna make multiples. All right, what do you guys think? The, um, now the PDF isn't up, the po <laughs> Really? Uh, okay, I'll fix the PDF in a little while. Um, what was I gonna say? No, I was gonna say something. Um, they're cute. They're, they would make good back-to-school treats for teachers and party favors for kids, right, Stacy? I agree. Really cute party favors. Just don't eat those uh, Skittles because then you won't be able to stop. Although my mom thinks they're gross. She didn't like them. So maybe it's just me. Maybe you guys won't like them either. I hope you don't like them because then you will be tempted by them, like me. They make you real thirsty because I've been snacking on them and they make me very thirsty. Speaking of thirsty, let me get a drink and then we'll make our third project. Where is my Diet Coke? Okay, now this card, you guys, is a case from a card I showed you last week. Remember this adorable card that Luann sent me? I left it sitting out and made another version of it. Luann, thank you very much. I'm really gonna start keeping the fun folds that you guys send me as inspiration. I don't know why I haven't been doing that, putting them in a special like like, you know, file that where I go here when you need ideas for fun folds. Duh, why didn't I do that before? All right, let me get everything situated. Now, this card has a lot of pieces and little measurements. Um, and you have to, you know, kind of focus on what you're doing while you're doing it. Um, but other than that, it's pretty easy. 
So let me get all my pieces. You're gonna need that second page of the PDF, which Carla tells me it's not up. Um, I need to get it up. I'll get it up for you guys. And just to say, you know, I have a computer sitting here. I hate to make you wait again, but let me check it. Let me see what's happening. Let me see. Okay, now it's up. So maybe that was from before. Are you guys finding the PDF? When you click the button that says, click here to download the PDF for today's projects. Hopefully it's now coming up for you guys. Okay, good. Okay, Jessica says it is up. Okay. You know, I, comments are delayed by a lot. So sometimes I see a comment from, yeah, Carla, exactly. Comments are delayed. So perfect. Yeah, I just never know. Was that comment delayed? Was it before? Was it after? I don't know. All right, the first thing that you're gonna need is a piece of basic black that is five and a half by 11 inches. And we're gonna score it at three and six and three fourths. So this card is gonna take a full sheet of your basic black. You're gonna cut off some of it, um, but you're not gonna get two cards out of one piece. Now, I'm gonna take my pencil. You're gonna need a pencil for this. And over here on the short side, I'm gonna mark it at three inches. All right. And now I'm going to grab my trimmer. My trimmer is a mess. It's, it needs like a bath or something. It's very gunky. And I drew in these lines and now it looks real messy because <laughs> I am blind and I can't see them. All right. So here's that mark that I made. I'm going to put that right there in the gutter. And I know you guys can't see the other end. So let me move it down. I'm gonna take this end, I'm gonna angle it <clears throat> so that that point down here, right, is in the gutter. And then also this piece, this little piece right here is in the gutter. And I'm gonna, basically what I'm doing is cutting a straight line from this corner to that three inch mark, all right? And then it's gonna fold like that. A double angle card, is that what you guys call this? What do you call this fun fold? I asked Anne Marie today and she says maybe double angle, she couldn't remember, maybe there was another name. Now, the next piece, this is the, what did I call it last time? I called it something wrong, delightfully? No, something eclectic, designer series paper, isn't that what it's called? Four by five and a fourth. And we're gonna mark it on the left side at one inch. Okay, so over here, I have to think about what I'm doing. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna make a mark right here at the one inch, and then I'm gonna put it. One thing you have to keep in mind is that the way you cut your angle. So I, if I cut my angle like this, right, I couldn't use it, I'd have to flip it over. So you wanna kind of visually decide the angle needs to go from the right down. So make sure you put your mark on the, the other side. Ask me how I know. I messed up the first time. Okay, so let's look. And that fits beautifully right there, okay? Now the next one is the basic white piece. And it is four and a fourth by three and a half. And again, we're gonna cut from here to here and we're gonna do seven eighths of an inch which I can't tell the measurements on here, right here. So now I'm gonna put that in like that, okay? And we'll put that there. Now we need a piece that goes right here. So this time when we cut, we need to cut from the left, top left down, all right? So we're gonna make that seven eighths inch mark over here on the right side, which is a little bit easier, right there. Okay, and I'm gonna cut it. Now, if the white, like the white piece, it wouldn't matter which way you cut it, because you could just flip it over. But for these that are double-sided, we wanna make sure they go the right way, right? So that one goes there. All right, one more we need right here, and I'm going back to that something eclectic designer series paper. And this piece, again, you guys, all of this is right here on the PDF. 
um, three and three eighths by two and three fourths. I'm gonna cut it from the top right over to five eighths of an inch. You know, do I have a ruler? <laughs> Let me see if I can count these lines. One, two, three, four, five. So right here, okay? And then the lines, I love the trimmer, but the, the ruler is hard for me to read. It's not easy. Okay, so now we've got all of our pieces. That was the hard part, getting everything cut in the right manner. So we're gonna put that one there. We're gonna put the white one here. We're gonna put um, the other black and white one here. And then put our yellow polka dot. I'm running out of adhesive. Let's see, can I make it? Right here. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Okay? All right, so that's the hard part. We'll put that out of the way. We got that done. Um, we're gonna do a little watercolor action on a uh, watercolor circle, watercolor paper circle. This is the uh, stylus shape circles. I believe it's the second largest. Um, I have my smoky slate and I'm gonna squeeze it so that I have a little bit of ink in there. I'm just gonna grab some water and then we'll just put this doo -doo -doo, like this. Now, because this is a science card, let's do something sciency and put some salt on it. The salt will just give it a little bit of texture when it's dry, okay? So set that aside to dry. Let's see, do we need this still? Yes, I'm gonna leave that open. Now for the little microscope. It's very cute. We're gonna stamp in memento. And just stamp right there on basic white. Now, while I'm coloring this, I'm just gonna use Smoky Slate. So it's nothing terribly exciting. Do I have my Smoky Slate? I do. While I'm doing this, tell me what the weather is like where you guys are. I wanna know because down here where I live, on the surface of the sun, it's very hot and it hasn't changed. However, it might change next week. Now, you guys know I'm a weather nerd. I love the weather and I stalk the Weather Channel app. I follow other weather people on Facebook. I mean, that's how big of a weather dork I am. And suddenly the tropics are waking up and I get very excited about that because we might have some of that elusive liquid gold rain <laughs> since we have lived in this house it has only rained one time and it was while we were out of town one other morning it was a little bit misty but it wasn't like rain rain so you have to understand when you don't get rain very often you get very excited about it now when you're just bragging 67 and cool I i'm gonna come visit you because that is amazing now also Darcy says it's hot Montana, Montana, oh Darcy, Montana, 94, that is hot, 103, okay, well, that's like down here, Brittany's up north and it's 80s, oh 80s, perfection, um, Melinda, you're in San Antonio too, it's just awful, right, it's like a blowtorch at any time, Jessica, Jessica's in Dallas, 110, you feel me, you feel me, right Jessica, um, Illinois, sunny and 86. Wow, Carol, 73 in Michigan. Man, you Michigan, Michiganers, Michi Michiganers, Michiganites. You guys get the cold weather. 105, 110, Oregon. Now, Becky, that's unnatural. Come on. Y'all don't usually get that hot, do you? That's craziness. 79, Carol's bragging too. Perfect weather, Deborah, 80. We've got a lot of weather braggers on here, and I'm very, very jealous. Look at you guys. Okay, now I'm sorry I asked. 
Um, so next week I'm going to Las Vegas for a Stampin' Up! conference and um, I'm going from hot to hot. But I did notice that on Saturday, not while I'm there, but on this Saturday, it's going to be like cool in the 70s. And I think that's because of that hurricane on the West Coast. Yes. Okay. So now we have discussed the weather. This is why I like September because that's when the weather changes, begins to change. And I, I love weather. I love the weather. I love, okay, let me clarify. I like ch weather that changes and doesn't stay 110 for three months straight. Ugh. I love Texas because in this, in the other nine months of the year, we have that perfect weather like you guys are mentioning. But then the rest of the, the summer is awful. Catherine, and they say dry heat. I agree. Dry heat is a different heat. It's a very different heat. Here with 100% humidity and 105 degrees, it's miserable. Miserable. Okay, back to our project. I already cut this guy out. He's a little trickier to cut out. I will not lie. Um, if you don't want to cut him out, just punch him out with a circle, okay? Um, your paper snips will help you there. We're going to emboss the sentiment in silver. I usually do white, but I decided we're gonna use silver for this card. And we're gonna use a little sentiment that says, let's sell a break. Now you guys, another thing that has happened was the awful, awful fires in in Maui, horrible destruction. We spent two summers, two, we went to, to Maui two summers in the last three years, exactly where all the horribleness has happened was where we spent a lot of time. So it's, it's been awful. So any of you who are over there in Maui, just know that I've been thinking and praying for you. And if you guys don't know, you need to look and see what's happened over there. They need a lot of help. There's a lot of GoFundMes over there. Um, for those people who have lost everything, everything, scary, scary stuff over there. Okay, so look how pretty. Let's celebrate in silver. I'm going to take the easy, fast route here and just use my scissors, but if you want your pieces to be perfectly straight, get your trimmer and cut these words apart. Okay. And we're gonna put them onto our little thing, our circle with mini dimensionals. Snip and why do the comments disappear? Um, you're right, Patricia says, summer heat is your payment for the other nine months. You're right, you are absolutely right and I can't decide if it's worth it. <laughs> I can't. We're having a pool put in right now in our house. And um, it's not supposed to be done until late October, early November. And we will probably be able to swim in it. That's how nice it'll be here. So I, I really shouldn't complain because most of the time, especially you Michi Michigan, why can I say that? Michiganers, Mich you people in Michigan, um, you really have cold winters. My husband was in Minnesota yesterday and the day before, and he said it was glorious. So I know Minnesota can get hot too, but uh, he said it was very nice. Um, so I didn't really leave it long enough, but it gives you kind of a textured feel there. And then I'm gonna take my, just my basic black or even your dark smoky slate, stamp and blend, and flick some ink. You know how I like to flick the ink. Then smoky slate and these little planetary <laughs> sciency things. We'll stamp those on there. And then we will, now I've got to show you these two things right here. I dug through my dies and I was like, what dies can I use that are sciency? This, these are the chic dies. You know, we've got the seashell, snowflakes, leaves. This right here, I cut this from Crush Curry. And this, which I believe is like a center for a flower, I cut two of those from silver foil because doesn't that look like maybe a germ? Some kind of sciency something? You gotta look at your dyes differently. You gotta look at them and think, 
What could that be other than the center of a flower? Why, it could be a germ. <laughs> you didn't know you needed a germ dye. You don't, you didn't know, but now you know you need a germ dye. All right, put your microscope right there. Now, wait a minute, did I do that wrong? Hold on, because we can't see our circle. I did. Okay, we're gonna put that behind there because we just covered up our cute circle. Hold up, rewind, go back, put it on here. Boop, 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 like that. Lay it like that. Now that's right. Find your dimensionals wherever they're buried. Put them down. They will hold this in place as well. And then put your circle. Don't cover that cute little watercolor circle up. And we'll put our microscope right in the middle. And then I'm going to have to use my, my, um, take your pick tool because my fingernails make me unable, unable to do the surgery I need to do on my mini dimensionals. All right, now we're just gonna put these little words. Let's sell a bright. How fun is this? This is definitely going to my daughter. So fun. All right, so we'll put one of these little germs right here. And I don't know if we need the second one. Well, maybe we should put it down here. I feel like it was too crowded the way I did on the other one. Let's put it down here. See how it looks. Like that. Oh, so cute. What do you guys think? I don't know, that's maybe my favorite. All right, let's come back on the inside and do our little science-y thingy bob, whatever it is called, I don't know. And then we'll stamp that other stamp we used the first time, it's your birthday. You can overreact right there. And there you have it. Isn't that fun? Super fun, I forgot the bow. So fun, I forgot the bow. Okay, real quick. Um, I don't have the right scissors, darn it. Oh yeah, I do right here. This is um, Pebbled Path, and it's, I feel like it's a little bit too bulky. So I'm gonna cut down the center long ways. I need the Jeopardy music while I do this. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. doesn't have to be perfectly straight don't worry I like it when it's not straight I like it when the little fibers stick out and then you're just gonna tie a bow with one half thanks guys thank you I'm glad you like it you know I actually was struggling with my creativity this week I was really having a hard time and then this was the last project I made and I was like, okay, I love it. There we go, all done. Okay, we are done. These projects took a little bit of extra time today. Um, let's look at what we made. If you would like me to send you the make and takes, the little project kit for these three, you'll get one of each. I will send it to you free um, with an order. If you put in an order, you can order anything you want by Monday at midnight. Please make sure to use that host code. That will tie your order to me. Um, and then I have a bonus card for you that will be up on Monday. That is Halloween inspired. I put eyeballs and bones in our beakers <laughs> using our new Halloween paper. So um, I'll have the details on that one on Monday. Okay, so you guys will be out of town next week. There will be no Facebook Friday next week. When I come back, I don't know what we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be a surprise to all of us. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna tell you what I think because I might change my mind. And then you guys get mad when I change my mind. So stay tuned, all right? All right, have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Thanks for joining me and I will talk to you in two weeks. Bye.